Hey coffee lovers, it's Morgan from WholeLatteLove.com and today I'm going to show you a really easy way to make cold brew coffee at home. Now cold brew coffee is becoming more and more popular so we're going to be doing it in a mason jar which is so simple you all can do it. Um, you know cold brew coffee isn't pouring drip coffee over ice. It's actually a process that involves no heat at all and produces a really rich, smooth cup of coffee without any real bitterness or acidity. So it's a great way to enjoy coffee during the hot months. So we've done cold pressed coffee before and we did that using a French press coffee maker where we put the grounds and the water in and we let that sit at room temperature overnight for about 15 hours. So the difference today is we're going to be um, putting our grounds and our water right in our mason jar using cold water and put it right in the fridge so the whole process is going to be cold. So I'm using a one quart mason jar and for a one quart mason jar you want to use three quarters of a cup of coffee grounds. I'm going to be using Whole Latte Loves Malabar Gold which is a nice dark roast and dark roasts work really well for cold brew coffee. So put those beans in there and I'm going to be grinding on the Barazza Forte and I have this set at a medium grind, a little coarser than drip because that's what you want to do when you're doing um, cold brew. Alright, let's get that going. All right, so three quarters of a cup of coffee is about 50 grams, and we're just gonna pour that right into the mason jar. It's a very straightforward process. We're just gonna take our cold water right out of the refrigerator and pour it over the grounds until those grounds are just under the lip of the jar. So right about there, okay. Put your lid on. Whoop. Slippers. And make sure you seal it really tight because now we're going to just invert it, you know, turn it up and down a couple times just to make sure all of those grounds are evenly moist. And now we'll just go put it in the fridge. Okay, I've had my cold brew in the fridge for about 16 hours and I did invert it a couple times. There's no need to shake it, just a few inversions is all you need to do. Now there are a couple ways that you can strain your cold brew. I'm going to be using the Hario glass dripper with a filter right into another mason jar. So some other ways that you can filter are using the basket from your drip coffee maker, a Chemex if you have that, or even a fine mesh kitchen strainer. And you know, if you have a cheesecloth, that could work as well. So you do have to have a little bit of patience. It does take a few minutes to get all those grounds filtered. All right, that is all brewed. And as you can see from our mason jar here, this brews about three cups of coffee. All right, some people like to enjoy this just as it is, straight up. I prefer it over ice. Um, if it's too strong for you, you could always dilute it with some water. And some people enjoy it with cream or milk, some flavorings, it's whatever you prefer. Mm. It really is so smooth. There's no bitterness or acidity, and I can even taste some of that chocolate flavoring from using the Malabar Gold. Um, you know, a great thing about doing this in a mason jar is that it has an airtight seal, so it's actually gonna last in the fridge for up to two weeks. Again, this is how you make easy cold brew coffee, and I'm Morgan from Whole Latte Love. Thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com.